What if, a boy became the youngest commander, who trains fellow kids to defeat an army of aliens, preventing an alien invasion? A forward! Welcome, to What A Story. The story starts when aliens known as the Formix, conquered Earth 50 years ago. The Formix queenship was destroyed, and all other Formix were brought to their knees by a courageous captain named Mazer Rackham. At training school, Ender Wigan and Stilson, are playing a game on a tablet. Through a monitor in the back of Ender's neck, Colonel Hiram and Major Gwen, are keeping an eye on him. When Ender wrecks Stilson's ship during the game, he is accused of cheating by Stilson. Ender is requested to go to the infirmary. He thinks that he did something wrong, and shortly after, the monitor is removed from his neck, signaling that he is being expelled from the school. He is cornered in the hallway by Stilson and his friends as he exits the room. They seize Ender and drag him into their classroom. He moves closer to Ender, and Ender responds by snatching something from the table and smacking Stilson with it. You're ganging up on me. Graf and Anderson are observing everything that is happening on TV. Ender complains to his sister Valentine, about having his monitor taken away before telling her about the encounter with Stilson. Peter walks in and questions Ender about what had transpired. Peter hands Ender a mask resembling a formic as Valentine leaves the room. Infuriated that Ender had his monitor longer, Peter tackles him and puts his hand around his throat. Graf and Anderson visit the Wigan household for supper in order to inform Ender's parents about the brawl at school. Ender explains that he kept kicking Stilson because he believed it would end their argument. Graf thinks Ender is a good candidate for battle school because of this tactic. Although Ender is shocked that his monitor was taken, it turns out that this was just a test to evaluate. Ender accepts to go with Graf. Ender and Graf visit a rocket containing more children. Ender introduces himself to a little boy named Bean. All of the people are in zero gravity when the rocket takes off into space. Eli, vomits into a bag after getting unwell. Ender smiles as Graf enters horizontally while floating. When Graf asks him whether something is humorous, Ender responds that it is funny since there is neither vertical or horizontal space in zero gravity, but other students disagree. At the battle school, the recruits see films of Mazer Rackham's valiant victory over the alien. The children applaud as Ender appears to be silently watching the video. When the children are taken to their quarters, Bernard calls Ender, smartass. The gruff and obnoxious sergeant Dap walks into the quarters. The children are given the guidelines, and he instructs them to come to him with any queries. Graf takes the youngsters to a combat arena in zero gravity. Ender and Bean play with the guns they're given. Two. One. Ender attempts to email Valentine, but he soon finds that the messages are not getting through. As Graf and Dap enter the quarters, Ender queries Graf about the emails. Ender is outraged when Graf says that connection with Earth has been cut off. Dap tells Ender to remain silent once Graf leaves. But Ender claims he had a valid question. Dap is furious and orders Ender to do push-ups. Bernard makes fun of a lie in class, but Ender stands up for him. Who sent this? Bean, Ali, and other kids start to befriend Ender. They start sitting with him during meals. One night, Ender uses a tablet to play a mind game in which he travels as a mouse. Anderson and Graf keep an eye on him as he plays. 
Can anyone do that? Ender is assigned to the Salamander team and must report to Bonzo, the team's commanding officer. Ender finds Petra. When Bonzo enters, he immediately disapproves of Ender. Petra offers to assist Ender with his battle room drills. She enters with him and demonstrates her stun gun skills. Now you getting it. Bonzo gets upset when they get back to their quarters since Ender went to practice with Petra. Ender asks Bonzo in private, that allowing him to practice will make him appear kind and offer Ender a chance to improve. Bonzo agreed. Bonzo tells Ender to remain in the back as the Salamander squad engages in combat with another team. Yeah! Ender is forced to enter the game after Petra and other team members are down. They eliminate the other team with Petra's assistance. While Petra and Ender is practicing. Where'd you learn all this? Bonzo enters. He hits Ender for making him seem foolish. Ender picks up his mind game again at night. He wanders around as a mouse. Then come across a formic that changes into Valentine. He follows her. And is surprised to see his brother Peter. Graf questions Anderson about how Peter may have entered the game, Anderson responds that it's possible because it's linked to Ender's mind. Graf elevates Ender to the disbanded dragon army, giving him command of a group of misfits he can use to win. He meets Bean, Ali, and Bernard, the members of his squad. I think you can help make that happen. The Dragon Army will engage in combat with other teams. Petra steps in to fill the spot left vacant by an injured member of Ender's team. Ender plans a strategy where one team member will hold on to Petra while the other teams stun him. Bean is then fastened to a rope and made to float while Ender scans the other team members. Ender has his entire team form a formation which allows a lie to be protected while the majority of the others are stunned. They successfully cross the room to the other side. Bonzo walks in while Ender is in the shower. He raises the temperature of the water and squirts Bonzo in the face. Ender is forced to kick Bonzo backwards after he charges at him, striking his head forcefully on the floor. <laughs> Bonzo is brought into a room for surgery while unconscious. Ender believes he may have killed him. He immediately quits. I quit. Valentine returns to her house to discover Graf there. They drive to Ender's location. Valentine runs to him and they embrace. They take a boat across the lake. Valentine is able to persuade Ender to go back to space by reminding him that he is battling to protect the human race. Ender returns to space with Graf, on the condition that he is able to maintain contact with his sister. Graf drives Ender to a facility after promoting him to command school. When Ender opens his eyes, he sees an elderly man with his face covered in tattoos. The man is Mazer Rackham. Ender is speechless, seeing the legendary commander, very much alive. Mazer shows Ender the videos, which show him ejecting himself from his jet as it flies into the queenship. As a result, all the other Formics freeze in the air before falling to the ground. Ender is introduced to his team, Petra, Bean, Ali, and Bernard, as a new commander. They are set up in a simulator room to get ready for a computer-controlled Formix army. In the first mission, Be closer. Too risky. Let's not reveal. the squad destroys the queen ship of the Formix by firing from beneath a huge chunk of ice. When Ender's entire squadron is wiped off during their second attempt, it is unsuccessful. 
Mazer and Graf are persuaded by Ender that his crew is worn out and in need of rest. The team is all set for their final graduation battle. Ender directs Petra to fire on the Formix, destroying the majority of their ships. He chooses to kill Bean and Dink's fighters in order to keep Petra safe. We need a clear line of sight. We the shield will hold forever. And allow her to launch a blast at the Formic planet in order to destroy it. The planet slowly burns to a crisp. They begin to applaud Ender until the images on the screen returns. Graf emerges to congratulate Ender. Graf acknowledges that this was never intended to be a game. Stand up. Graf points out that the Formix would have treated humans in a similar manner, but Ender claims that it was humans who started the war. We won! Ender is tranquilized by two adults who returned him in his room. When Ender awakens, he leaves the base and goes outside, and Petra follows by carrying them oxygen tanks. He informs Petra that he would be entering there by himself. Ender discovers a sack with an unborn Formic inside it as soon as he enters the tower. From the shadows emerges a queen who approaches Ender. He understands that the unborn Formic is a queen, and the queen he is currently looking at is dying. He tells her that he will find a new home for it. Ender sends Valentine one more letter in which he announces his promotion to the rank of Admiral, and his impending journey across the cosmos, promising to uphold his commitment to the Formex. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next story.